Hello, and welcome to QuantPy. In this video, my friend is going to explain how to invert an FX quote and how to calculate the cross FX prices accounting for the bid offer. Hello, and welcome to QuantPy. Let's discuss a couple of the commonly encountered calculations in the spot trading. Let's first see how one can go about inverting a quote. Assume we have been given the bid and offer prices of pound dollar. Can we calculate the bid and offer prices of the inverted quote, which is dollar pound? First, let's recall the meaning of the given bid and offer prices. The market maker will buy one pound for dollars at the bid price and will sell one pound at the offer price. The inverted quote would then mean that the market maker buys one dollar for pounds at the bid price and sells one dollar at the offer price. So the bid of the inverted quote and the offer of the original quote represent the buying of dollars. Hence, the position of the bid and offer would need to be reversed. And if one pound is equal to x dollars, then one dollar will be equal to one over x pounds. So, you take reciprocals of the bid and offer prices and invert their positions. Let's apply this transformation to the given bid and offer price. Has the spread narrowed? The spread looks smaller because the transaction size has decreased from one pound to one dollar. And if you divide the first spread by the bid and offer prices, you will get the spread of the inverted quote. It is easily verified in symbols. Now, let's explain the cross rate, which is an exchange rate between two non-dollar currencies. But here, we want to show how to calculate the cross rate between two currencies whose exchange rates against the dollar are available. As the exchange rate against the dollar can be, in American or European terms, we can consider three cases. Both quotes are in American terms, both are in European terms, or one is in American terms and the other is in European terms. Let's say we have been given the exchange rates of euro and pound against the dollar, and we have been asked to quote the euro pound price. We can approach this as follows. Let's start with the bid price. We will be buying euro and selling pounds at this price. So, to square the position, we will need to go to the market to sell the euro against pounds. But, we only have access to euro dollar and pound dollar prices. So, we will need to string together two trades. First, we sell one euro against dollars. The market maker will be buying euro, so she will use the bid price. Hence, we pay one euro and receive $1.1456. But we want pounds, not dollars. So, we then sell dollars for pounds. As the market maker will be selling pounds, she will use the offer price. So, she will be giving us one pound for $1.3078. But we have a smaller amount of dollars. Only 1.1456. So she gives us less than a pound, which is just the dollar amount we have divided by the offer price of pound dollar. Writing this in symbols, we get a general formula. Now, let's calculate the offer price. We will be selling euro and buying pounds at this price. So to square the position, we will need to go to the market to buy the euro against pounds. Again, we will need to string together two transactions. First, we buy one euro against dollars. The market maker will be selling euro, so she will use the offer price. Hence, we will get one euro for $1.1457. But we want to give pounds, not dollars. So, we then buy dollars and sell pounds. As the market maker will be buying pounds, she will use the bid price. So she will be giving us $1.3076 for one pound. 
but we need a smaller amount of dollars, only 1.1457, so we give her less than a pound, which is just the dollar amount we have divided by the bid price of pound dollar. Now, assume that the two exchange rates are given in European terms. Can you apply the procedures that we just used for calculating the channel rate to see if you get the following formulae? And finally, one exchange rate is in American terms and the other is in European terms. Do you get the following formulae? We hope you enjoyed the video and we look forward to seeing you in the next.